द मेन प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट गेटिंग अ जॉब इट इज गेटिंग योर फर्स्ट जॉब मैनी फ्रेशर्स फेस दिस पेन पॉइंट वेर दे अप्लाई फॉर अ डेटा एनालिस्ट पोजिशन एंड दे डोंट इवन गेट एन इंटरव्यू कॉल सी आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू से एनी थिंग अनरियालिस्टिक टू इंक्रीज द व्यूज ऑफ दिस वीडियो इंस्टेड आई विल शो यू अ साइंटिफिक रोड मैप विथ फ्री लर्निंग रिसोर्सिस एंड चेकलिस दैट विल इंक्रीज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ यू गेटिंग एन इंटरव्यू कॉल हैंस द जॉब दिस विल रिक्वायर लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क सो इफ यू लुकिंग फॉर अ शॉर्टकट देन प्लीज लिव दिस वीडियो डो नॉट वेस्ट योर टाइम आई से दिस विथ कॉन्फिडेंस बिकॉज बोथ माई सेल्फ एंड द को क्रिएटर ऑफ दिस वीडियो हेमानंद interview data analyst job candidates in our companies atlic and code basics even in our past companies bloomberg and edgewell we have interviewed many candidates so this advice is based on our real life experience as a fresher you will go through three phases to land a job upskilling interview call and cracking the interview now the reason i am showing the distance between these two because after upskilling getting the interview call is the most difficult thing once you learn the art of getting an interview call you can appear for multiple interviews and at some point you are going to crack the interview as of december 2023 the job market is not so great and if 100 people are upskilling only 5 people are getting a job now of course this situation will improve in the future but i will show you how you can be one of these five in this tough job market the moment you start watching tutorials or buy a paid course you are among the 100 people out of this 100 there will be around 60 people who will do proper research and they will learn things from a legitimate instructor nowadays on youtube anyone can start a youtube channel they don't need to have any industry experience youtube doesn't do any verification similarly on other e-learning platform also anyone can start teaching but the thing you need to remember is sometimes people get popular because they know how to talk nicely or they probably sometimes know how to teach well but if a person who has worked in the industry who can also teach nicely if you are learning from that person then that teaching is backed by industry experiences so you will learn how to not only upskill but get a job so you need to do a proper research and not get trapped into all kind of scams nowadays we see these scams where okay learn power bi in 100 rupees job guarantee program people make all kind of false claims so unfortunately 40 people around 40 people here they get trapped into these scams they can't learn things properly and they either get demotivated they give up thinking that okay this is not my cup of tea actually the problem could be the scammy course that you bought you know which is doing just false promises so make sure you are among this 60 you are doing proper research whenever you are watching any tutorial from anyone first do thorough research on the instructor how is that person what is the credibility do they have real industry experience and so on in the video description below you will find a pdf file of this entire road map so the first phase that we talked about is doing proper research so if you have done proper research you can go ahead and tick these uh, boxes this will mean that you are among this 60 people out of 60 people who are learning from legitimate instructor there will be around 40 who will focus on practice learning is not only about consuming it is consuming plus digesting there will be around 20 people who will watch the videos but they will not practice so if you practice then you go to a next stage in this particular landing a job funnel so how do you practice exactly well in our pdf file we have given list of guided and unguided projects so let me show you one guided project which is revenue insight in the hospitality domain now in this particular project we invited abhishek anand this particular person who is a revenue manager in oyo rooms so he gave the requirements as per uh, his needs in the hospitality domain and we built the power bi dashboard that can generate the insights now during this project we try to simulate different stages of how projects are executed in the industry both me and hemanand have worked in the industry so we know how things work right from requirements scoping to collecting the data then data transformation then building the insights then stakeholder meeting and going on phase 2 etc we have covered all of that in the video description you will find files for the data set the power bi file everything the second project that we had was 
to generate insights uh, based on T20 cricket World Cup data. We went to ESPN Crick Info website, did data scrapping to scrap the real data. We did not use any toy data sets. We scrapped real data from ESPN Crick Info website using website scrapping. Then we worked on transforming data in Pandas and eventually a dashboard was built in Power BI. Towards the end, we discussed the insights with a subject matter experts. Once again, this project covers all the phases that you usually go through when you get a job and start working on any data analytics project. You usually go through all these projects. See here you are seeing building a mock-up. So we covered everything like mock-up, data collection, transformation, dashboard building, all of those stages. Then comes unguided projects. So if you click on any of these links, you will land on Core Basic Resume Project Challenge page. Here, every month we publish a new project challenge on our website where anyone can participate. This is totally free and we will publish a problem statement. We have a lot of industry connection. So these problem statements are real and the data set that we use are also mimicking the real life scenarios. When you click on download files, you'll be able to download a lot of resources such as mockups, the data sets and any guidance that you may need uh, to practice this project. Once you build a dashboard or let's say you use SQL to generate insights, you will then go to LinkedIn. For example, for this particular uh, challenge, these were the winners and I'm going to show you a LinkedIn post of our first winner who is Aryan Sarma and they uh, represent their insights in terms of LinkedIn post and also this type of video presentation. So see here Aryan posted a nice uh, video presentation and this got some 740 engagement. Okay. And some of these people who are uh, watching your post might be potential recruiters or maybe the people who are liking this post in their network, there might be recruiters. So when they like it, it will go to their LinkedIn feed. As a result, Aryan actually got a job. Aryan got a job because of uh, his participation in this particular uh, resume project challenge. This allows you to not only practice technical skills, but the soft skills. When you are writing a LinkedIn post, you are practicing your written English communication. When you are recording a video presentation, as if you are presenting in front of uh, business stakeholders, you are practicing your verbal uh, English communication and your presentation skills. Make sure you have at least three guided projects and three unguided projects in your portfolio. Now, let's say you are among these 40 who know how to practice. Is that enough? Well, apparently no, because at this stage, people start applying for jobs and they don't get an interview call. And that's when the frustration zone starts. There are candidates, however, who knows how to show the work and by showing the work, they're able to get interview calls and they become 10 out of those 40 who gets interview call. There are three ways that you can show your work. ATS resume, portfolio website, LinkedIn plus online credibility. In order to apply for jobs, you need resume. This resume needs to be ATS friendly. ATS stands for application tracking system. Companies receive so many resumes, so they are not going to do manual review. Companies will have an ATS system which will do an automatic scanning of the resume and filter some resumes out. You want to make sure your resume doesn't get filtered. We have included a sample resume here, which is very ATS friendly. So you can download it and maybe you can add your details. We have also included the complete checklist. So your font size, the length, uh, the white space, all of that. So when you go through this checklist and check each of these tick marks, at the end, you will have a nice and efficient ATS friendly resume. After resume comes your portfolio website. Portfolio website is nothing but your dynamic live resume. You can use any of the free tools such as github.io. See this person created a nice website here. In our code basics data analyst bootcamp, we have a feature where you can easily create this website. For example, rhythm created this portfolio website. And when she got a job, I asked her what kind of role did that website play? And she said that that portfolio website actually helped her uh, getting an interview call. And also during the interview call itself, uh, she used this website to showcase her projects. So let me show you how this website looks. So when any recruiter is visiting your portfolio website, they will come to know about you, like who, who, who are you, uh, what kind of skills you have, 
you can also upload a video here your introduction so when that person sees you talking they will get some clue on your communication as well now the most important part is the live project so for example i am interested as a recruiter i am interested in knowing your project work so i can go to your project i can read through the problem statement i can watch a video this could be a presentation that you have made on this particular project i can also access the live dashboard for example i want to see sales you see this is a live power bi dashboard that you can play with and then during the interview i can ask questions okay why did you use line chart for example here or a scatter plot for gm percentage ns dollar etc so this can drive the conversation and having portfolio website can work in your benefit from both the angles getting an interview call as well as cracking the interview people also use link tree to link different website for example our team member navin has this particular link tree page where he has linked linkedin instagram power bi portfolio and so on so see this is his linkedin profile now as a recruiter if i am looking at linkedin profile of navin having 32000 followers and all the posts that he is doing uh, obviously see this kind of following shows that you have some credibility people want to listen to you etc and then you can also read these uh, linkedin posts to get an idea on a uh, person's credibility you can also go to the live portfolio dashboard for example navin has this one on novi pro he also has a github page having all of these things will uh, separate you from rest of the crowd after a resume and portfolio website having a strong linkedin profile is a must we have given a complete checklist using which you can make your linkedin profile strong so all you do is follow all this guideline for example you don't have a custom url you follow these steps create a custom url and then you check this tick mark you set your profile visibility using this uh, guideline and then you check this when you have checked all these boxes at the end you will have a strong good looking linkedin profile once linkedin profile is created you need to use linkedin to build online credibility once again i am giving example of aryan sharma who was a fresher just like you he had a degree in a bachelor of science bsc so he was from non technical field and he still got a job as a fresher as a fresher data analyst and he used to post on linkedin like this obviously we talked about this before where he posted about uh, his learning from that particular project you can also comment on other people's post for example when navin commented on other person's post it got this many likes and one of these people could be a hiring manager or maybe there is a hiring manager who will be in the network of these 10 or 11 people and your post or your comment might appear in the feed of that person so now that person will get to know you they might build a good impression about you based on the kind of comment that you are writing now let's say if you are reaching out individually to someone on linkedin for a help then there is an art of how to ask for a help Uh, you need to have a contextual intro where you introduce yourself you say okay how do you know that person then specify your subject very clearly then question breakdown relevant attachments and empathetic outro we have mentioned the template of how to ask someone for a help uh, here in our pdf file this checklist will help you ensure you are building online credibility using linkedin now let's assume uh, you have shown your work and you got an interview call so now comes the stage of preparing for the interview at this stage your goal is to come into that top 5% where you get a job for that you need to work on three things first practice technical questions for this you can actually use chat gpt so if you go to chat gpt and ask it to conduct a data analyst mock interview it will do it you can say okay ask me sql interview questions and it will ask you those questions one by one you can also ask it to evaluate the answer out of 5 and it will do that for you then you can say only ask sql queries not the theory questions and also you can ask it to increase the difficulty level so if you know how to use chat gpt properly for the interview you will be able to use it for your mock interview i have also created uh, one short video to use uh, chat gpt for customizing your resume and few other things as well you can also follow shashank's youtube channel he is good in terms of 
power bi interview question that is kind of his main area of expertise so if you follow all these videos you'll be learning a lot of tips around how to crack power bi interviews and how to crack data analyst interview in general second item is you need to have a presentation for the projects that you have worked on. You can use the same thing which Aryan Sharma did earlier where he built a nice presentation for his resume project challenge. You can also take reference of Ragun who is an experienced data analyst at Ford and he has provided this particular PPT of the presentation he made for his project. So maybe you can use this as a reference and create a presentation for your own project. You can also join local or online Toastmaster club to improve your English communication. Domain knowledge is often very important for a data analyst job profile and we have given 15 different resources that can help you improve the domain and the links are available here. So I have shared a scientific approach of how you can get a data analyst job as a fresher and at the end I would like to say one thing, the art of getting things done is to act if you have seen this video and if you don't act again it will be useless so download the pdf from the video description start working on those action items and start checking those check boxes if you have any question you can ask in the comments below i wish you all the best